Welcome back to the channel guys. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and like the video. However, if you're a returner, make sure to like it. Today we're going to be going over some of the biggest Roblox YouTubers who got scammed. It wasn't necessarily their fault, however they did fall for a couple of these people tricks. And yes, they are human too, so they do make mistakes such as that. But, however, long enough of an intro guys, let's get right into the video. Our first person up on the list is It's Funny. Known for her awesome Roblox videos, her Roblox walkthroughs, and of course, who can forget the awesome funny videos she constantly does with her family, the crew. It's Funny is known for being one of the best Roblox YouTubers out there. However, she has had a lot of run-ins in the past with a lot of scammers. It's been unfortunate, however, it does play out for itself, as she does draw a lot of attention to herself. Obviously, being the big YouTuber she is, She's going to get a lot of negative lot looks and comments coming her way, directly affecting her brand. Now, obviously, these type of haters aren't really going to do too much, as there are very little. And a lot of you guys love It's Funny, as do I. However, she has actually gotten scammed before in the past. Back in 2015, when she was just relatively new to YouTube, she actually ended up trying to do a free Robux video. Now that video ended up going viral at the time for her 100,000 views was literally insane. That's like getting 10 million for her. And literally what ended up happening was she ended up, I guess, making a deal with someone for a promotion for her next couple of videos. And the person ended up hacking into her YouTube channel. Not only that, they hacked into it, changed her password, changed her payment information, and she was left in the dust. Luckily enough, she had a pretty good fan base at the time, around 10,000 subscribers, and they all fought for her. They ended up contacting YouTube directly saying, hey, we need to get her channel back. This isn't fair. The hacker ended up getting it. And ultimately, lo and behold, you saw that she ended up getting it back. And the rest is history. Obviously, we could not have It's Funny how she is currently today if we not have gotten her channel back. Another big YouTuber, Cookie Swirl C, is another awesome face people love to see. Her exciting, colorful commentaries bring joy and many smiles to people's face countrywide. However, did you guys know she actually got scammed out of $100 one time on stream? Yes, she was streaming actually on the popular website Twitch before she started obviously streaming on YouTube. Ended up actually receiving a donation from someone that said, click this link to receive your donation. Now, her being relatively new to the you know YouTube game and also the Twitch game, she didn't really understand there are a lot of scammers out there that will literally do anything to get their hands on cash. And yes, she ended up falling for it. But still, you guys have to understand, this is a scam a lot of people fall for, where it'll literally be a link you click on, you put your email in, you think it's legit, it looks legit, it looks like the website you're looking, but however, a couple moments later, your account ends up getting hacked, and then yes, she also got $100 taken from her, because she accidentally, I guess, left her bank information, aka her PayPal login info, on her desktop. It's unfortunate to see. However, Cookie Swirl C obviously ended up rebounding from this, one of the bigger Roblox YouTubers out there, and didn't let it affect her moving forward. Here we have Dan TDM. This guy's a huge YouTuber, and you'd think someone of this mass gratitude would never ever even think about getting scammed. He did get scammed, however, back in 2016, and almost got his channel taken. A group of hackers ended up posing as, surprise, surprise, an ad group, and wanted him to run an ad on, their, on his channel for around $20,000. They said they would wire him the money as soon as Monday, and it was Sunday at the time. So what does Dan TDM do? He runs the ad the very next day, demands the money, and the group of hackers say, we will give you the money, we need your email and address and everything else. Now obviously when you're wiring someone money, you're gonna go ahead and give them that personal information because they need that for their bank to communicate with yours. However, the hackers took it one step further. They ended up somehow getting into his bank account, ended up getting into his YouTube account as well because the passwords were the same at the time and Dan TDM says it was one of the worst mistakes he had ever made. They came literally moments from getting his channel and this was when he had a couple million subscribers to his name so he was in no means any small YouTuber. Still though, this is very scary and I'm glad it didn't happen because Dan TDM would literally not have his massive army of subscribers that he has today. And lastly, we have Flamingo. Now, this story is a little stupid. However, it's also a little funny if you guys want to find a humor side to it. However, Flamingo ended up actually trying to hack someone else's account when he was just a young kid. Now, Flamingo honestly wanted to get into YouTube, he said, from the time literally he found out it was a thing. He didn't have the money, unfortunately. 
Now, he would ultimately end up selling fake Robux ads to people to go ahead and make a couple few bucks and then end up blocking them. Now, that's how he said when he was a young kid, he made a few extra dollars. And he said he was so close to saving up for YouTube equipment like a mic, a face cam, etc, etc. However, he ended up getting caught and actually ended up getting permabanned on Roblox, which is why he ended up having to ditch his old name. Still though, it makes for a funny story because Flamingo is known as one of the most stand-up guys in the Roblox community and would never do something like this. Well, that about wraps up today's video, guys. Let me know down below which Roblox YouTuber you were surprised who got scammed. Guys, I'm signing off. I will see you in the next upload.